stories today. Strong determination and patience, a key to success, says Class 12 Arts position holder L.P. Tracy. Class 12 Commerce position holder Ngam Sanglen Haukip wants to become a charter accountant. Government needs efforts to upgrade Manipur Zoological Garden. And Moray Van Service Union goes on humble strike to protest arbitrary action of Motor Vehicle Department. Hello, you're watching Tom English News. I'm loving my with you, giving you the news in details. Strong determination and patience are the key to success in life, said L.P. Tracy of Don Bosco Higher Secondary School, Senapati, who secured third position in the art stream of Class 12 Examination 2019 conducted by Council of Higher Secondary Education, Manipur. Tracy secured 432 marks out of 500. Tracy told Tom TV that she couldn't afford private tuition due to the financial problem. She used to study for five hours every day for the exam. She said that she wanted wants to become a professor and provide guidance to students. To everyone, firstly, I want to thank God for this, uh, for having my dream come true. And I want to thank my mother, my sister, my families, everyone for always supporting me. They have been tr with me throughout this journey. Uh, since day one of my class 12, I have the determination to do something great and they have been supporting me. They have been all throughout me. Whenever I fail in any exam, they encourage me not to be down and I'm so happy for having had them. I'm really, really indeed lucky. Then I want to thank my teachers, the school institutions, the school. We, our school has the best teachers, I could say, because they have been supporting me so long long or whenever I had any doubt they are always ready to help me out although I'm a shy girl and I don't approach them and I want to thank my friends well-wishers and everyone friends everyone thank you Meanwhile, Tracy's mother, L.P. Cecilia, was overwhelmed by her daughter's success. She said that although she couldn't let her attend private tuitions, she always supported her and prayed for her How <laughs> ตามาสุทุชินปีบังอําเดไอบิดีมาคอยมารีโดอดุมโคเลสจะปะนี่น่ะมาบ่ทุชินปีบังอําเดเบกีอิชวงอนดะดิเปรตะเวดอกะมาน
Ngam Sanglen Haukib is the son of Hankolun Haukib and Nenkotin of El Munom. He got 397 marks of 500 and secured letter marks in four subjects. Ngam Sanglen's father Hankolun said that his son was always a topper. He added that his son has always put his heart and soul to everything he does. St. Vincent School, the class 10, Tamlingish, the Mana St. Vincent School, Pamu village, the Ma School Topper, Sulagpa. Aduka Matang, the Maram Kulis, Handak Ma Kanoge, Adam Tabam Tapam Sida, as Kulis, the Amarak Ma class Topper Lagpa. As you assume Matang Matum Ziang Bakanda, and either Tile Bapoko, who you pass him Tile. The third position holder of Council Commerce Examination 2019, Nebita Maibam, has said she wants to become a charter accountant. She is the youngest of four siblings born to Maibam Oken and Maibam Ongbi Debala from Irengban Makalekai in Kakching District. Nebita's parents are daily wagers. She studied at Scholar English School Irengban, a private school from class 1 to 8, but she pursued her class 9 and 10 at Irengban High School, a government aided institute from where Nebita passed the board examination 2017 in the first division scoring 79% mar marks. Nebita told Tom TV that she had the hope to get through the examination with higher marks but did not believe she would secure the third position. In government school, there are many admission to the government entrance. I was very excited to be able to get the first admission to the admission to the admission. Saya principal na admission tau pasi, aje lagi terlalu ubi raga admission je laut dia, han ber admission eleven admission je. Ada aje hostel dah tambi dia mohon, hostel dah lagi pasi tu hostel fiun pasi mama awi yang way aje tu kangi mama awi yang kena tau ye, aje kita orang tau mohon kau khatan pergi jat na luang kau kau anda na mohon hana bibdu, aje adun kangi am aje mohi am tangi. Moy no hot nari zee, mahi am tangi pangan gie na kalle. Ando, ay nang si mai paglak pa zee, ay credit si mama, baba, ay imong mano, ay tagpi tambi rak pa, ay gi ozasing. Maruwa na ay kamerski, iti zee high secondary kamerski ozasing. Amo sung ay gi, ako ay nini eda pizza gie, ay gi lagi drabi nini eda pizza gie, mana yam hot na bira me ay gi. Chief Minister of Manipur N. Biren Singh has congratulated all toppers of different streams in Higher Secondary Examination 2019 conducted by Council of Higher Secondary Education Manipur. In a congratulatory message, he also congratulated the teachers and parents for their achievement. The Chief Minister also lauded the officials and staff of Council of Higher Secondary Education Manipur for declaring the examination result on time and encouraged the failed students to not lose their hope and work harder to realize their dreams. The one and only zoo in the state, Manipur Zoological Garden, located at Iroishemba on the outskirts of Imphal, is very small in size and its congested space poses a big challenge to the related department in its efforts to upgrade the zoo on par with zoos in other states. Here is an exclusive report on this. Manipur Zoological Garden is located at Iroisemba on Kangsu Broad, about 7 km from capital Imphal. The zoo is home to some of the rare and desert species of animals under Schedule 1 and Schedule 2, for which the Central Zoo Authority CZA recognizes the Manipur Zoological Garden as medium-sized zoo. Even though so many endangered animals are kept here, this zoo is yet to find its place among the most famous zoo of the country. With an area measuring 8.17 hectare, the Manipur Geological Garden was established on 2 October 1976. Despite its small needs, the zoo has 46 species of different animals and birds. Of these, 29 are classified as endangered species. According to an official record, the total number of the animals in the zoo recorded till January of this year was 388 which include leopards, different types of monkeys like Yongmu and Yong Ikai TV, Bear, Shanghai, Kersha, Nongin, the State Bird and Wawa, etc. 
Director of Manipur Zoologic and Garden, Gaitolu Thaimai, told Tom TV that currently the zoo is run by the Forest Department under the sponsorship of Central Zoo Authority CZA. Last year, the CZA sanctioned rupees 1.45 crore for the maintenance of the zoo, and this year it got rupees 1.13 crore only. As such, the Kansan Department is facing hardship in running the zoo. Manipur Zoologic and Garden is earning around Manipur Zoologic and Garden is earning around rupees 40000 to 50000 per month and it collected more than rupees 8 lakh in the year 2016-17 and rupees 9 lakh 56944 in 2018-19 endangered species haitare ko wildlife protection area sida schedule 1 ga 2 se endangered species aina lawe I call the endangered species set 29 species like the out of the 46 uh, species. I don't know endangered species missing yam bagi zoo se picture so medium sized zoo and a um, central zoo authority china recognized okre. He added, under the master plan, the second home of the Sangai, located at Langol Gambiles, will soon move to the new Sangai home enclosure, now under construction on the southern part of the zoo complex. He further said, the newly built geological museum at Montripuki will soon be integrated and open to people. The forest department is expand to the process of the process of the process of the process of and then recently last year also a uh, uh, environment department sena social impact assessment away zuga thangnaba uh, manipur polo association gi lam thangnaba male masi 7.35 acre gumba area se expand to ngai gi hek zu gi na kan se si process ama chatha ki social impact assessment si shu ta ukre public hearing chu ta ukre adu moi gi environment gi report se se ngai tang ngai ngai se expansion gi damak ti process ti khoi dum chatha ra bani as for Manipur Zoo, the zoo in Guwahati, Assam is comparatively larger in size. As for Manipur Zoo, the zoo in Guwahati, Assam is comparatively larger in size, so landscaping is also a difficult task, he asserted, but it could be modified if additional space is allotted to the zoo and the state government is currently considering the proposal. Central Zoo Authority in a master plan is approved away. Based on that master plan, the labor is the labor facility as per master plan. Why? Because the funding is not going to be Everything in one year is going to be overhauled. It depends on the funding also. The state plan is the majority goes for animal feed and medicine. Medicine and supplements. I don't know. I know that enclosure and over sabo khopa ki khudong sabo di kya laiza de. I do bo central zoo authority dagi di. I know chahi khuding annual plan operation. Hai basi chahi khuding. I know summit tawe central zoo authority da. I do bo moi na pi ba pi da badudi central authority dagi moi ki funding position da laiza re. Hai badi last year dudi I know central zoo authority dagi di amata phangza da kide. On the other hand, the road connecting the Lone Zoo in the state is now in pathetic condition. As the black topping on the road has worn out, the road has been dotted with both holes everywhere. As such, expanding and revamping the zoo will naturally require enhancing the road and connectivity condition of surrounding area as well. Protesting against alleged arbitrary action of the Manipur Motor Vehicle Department, members of Moray Van Service Yai School Moirangkom has launched an indefinite hunger strike today seizing passenger service. The Drivers Association has also warned of imposing an indefinite ban on Imphal Moray Road National Highway 2 in case the Motor Vehicle Department does not fulfill their demands by today itself. The passenger van drivers are displeased with the department over what they said unfair seizure of vehicles and charges money through traffic chalan. Kundrakpam Binod Kumar, who was taking part in the strike, wrote that the motor vehicle department was indulging in activities like charging money and seizing vehicle documents from the drivers since December last year. He claimed that there were also incidents wherein drivers were being harassed by traffic police. Binod said they have been compelled to take up the strike as it has gone beyond the tolerance range. 
ตัวเบคันจินะอคุยสิเดกาลีทาบาอคุยเนสาร์วิสตอกเจบเซยามนวานบายามนปกสิกันบาอคุยดายามวานบาดาลีจิพาระกาลีกีมะนุงเดยา
ขอเจ้าสิวารีบ่อสุนบ่สิเงาไกคุยเกสายเตชุมะพมจานะไอไอเกยุมดะมะพมมะมะเสขันดูอกามะพมจานะทําเมตนะมะคุมกุบเซน
Indian Red Cross Society IRCS Tobal branch today observed World Red Cross and Great Christ and Day 2019 at the premises of Paradise English School in Tobal, Okram yesterday. The function was held under the aegis of Indian Red Cross Society National Headquarters New Delhi under the sponsorship of IRCS Imphal branch. The event was held on the theme What Do You Love About Red Cross? Vice President of Managing the Committee IRCS Taubal Branch Dr. Shatrimayu Manglen Singh, Boarding Superintendent of Paradise English School E. Sanajoba along with Vice President of IRCS Taubal Branch T.H. Devan and its secretary K. Sadananda attended the function as chief guest president and guests of honor respectively. On the occasion, the participants paid floral tributes to the portrait of late founder of Red Cross, John Henry Dunant, which was followed by speech, speeches from subject experts on Red Cross and Red Crescent. Under the supervision of additional superintendent of police, a team of Imphal West Police Commando comprising of women police and commando personnel led by Deputy Superintendent of Police Amit today conducted a house-to-house -house search drive from North AOC to Minutong in Imphal City. During the search which was conducted from 4.15 a.m. till 5.50 a.m., altogether 350 occupants from 80 houses, rented accommodation and hotels were verified. However, no arrest was made during the search operation. Titular King of Manipur, Leishemba Sanajoba, today planted two saplings of banyan trees at the historic Hongnang Anikara, Chingmeirong. The Manipur government had earlier cut down the two age old banyan trees grown at the location as part of the developmental work taken up in the area. In this regard, Leishemba Sanajoba told media persons that it is commendable that the state government is taking up various developmental works but underlined the need to preserve all historic places. He added the banyan tree saplings were planted with an aim to let the future generations know the historical significance of the place. Hongnang ani karak haibadu gi maming ase mang dana ba amasung laibak da awa na tarak tana ba hai dana ba se mari pur government or or normal chief minister gi ma gi mieng makha da adu ga sana ko nungi mieng makha da loina ma adu mari le na ba department singa tana ra ga na si se ko sana ko nung na tholom se lai to ba pangthok cha bani adu na I quick Fazana mana masamaring fana hawlok putana koi ge to maina laga di koi ge leiba ase sa hong ngo hong banwa yai pa ba ting ta pado purakani hai ge thaja badu da asi tholom ase yamna koi ge pungning da koi ge kare hai ni pungning siba mga loina na thaja ba mga loina pangto ba tholom Manipur police today seized two-wheeler vehicles using loud silencer pipes for violating traffic rules and regulations in Imphal City. Imphal West District Police seized around 32 two-wheelers near the dim ground of Kwakaitel area in Imphal. The cops removed all loud silencers from the vehicles before the owners were advised. And now for another short break, stay with us. China call. For the first time in the history of satellite television channel in Manipur. Train our call. Mega TV serial based on true stories.
Watch every Saturday at 7 p.m. Only on Times of Manipur, Tom TV. Starting from 11th May 2019. Welcome back. The All Assam Minority Students Union, AMSU, submitted a memorandum to Assam NRC Authority today, pointing out the discrepancies in Assam NRC. The students' body submitted the memorandum to Assam NRC Coordinator Pratik Hajila, bringing to his notice the discrepancies in the ongoing process of disposal of claims and objections. The AMSU lamented that despite approaching the NRC Coordinator in person, as well as by submitting memoranda for redressal of genuine grievances, everything has fallen on deaf ears. To buttress the claim, they cited the Supreme Court order dated May 8, 2019, passed in WPC No. 274 of 2009, which directed that the state coordinator is free to deal with all incidental issues that may arise in his wise discretion and in accordance with law. The Nagahoho said the statement of Naglan BJP President and Minister Imna Along that Nagas are Indians and Nagas are proud to be part of this great country should be censured. Drawing attention to Along's statement, which was published in local dailies on May 6 and widely circulated in the social media, the Nagahoho in the statement released yesterday that in his in its considered opinion, the statement should be censured if not posterity would be blamed. This very statement of Imna alone cannot be the voice of the entire Naga people, said Naga Hoho. The Supreme Court today dismissed a petition that claimed that Congress President Rahul Gandhi had dual citizenship and not elig eligible to get elected to Parliament. The bench of Chief Justice of India, Ranjan Gogoi, Justice Deepak, Gupta and Sanjeev Khanna dismissed the petition. The CGI quipped, some company in some form has mentioned Rahul Gandhi as a British national, so does he become a British citizen? Dismissed, according to Low Portal Bar and AMP Bench. Last week, the Hindu Mahasabha, along, among others, had filed a petition alleging that Rahul Gandhi had acquired British citizenship and that the Election Commission be directed to decide on the question of his eligibility to contest the ongoing elections. The Ministry of Home Affairs had sent a letter to the Congress President asking him to clear the air. The letter was then leaked in the social media from where select TV channels, selected TV channels picked it up and held prime-time discussions. BJP's Raja Sabha member Subramanian Swami, who has been alleging that the Congress President was a foreign national, tweeting saying that there was no way Rahul Gandhi could get elected and become the Prime Minister. There are celebrities like film stars, sports heroes, politicos and even elephants with a huge fan following in Kerala. The celebrity elephants in the state have even featured in Mayala, Malayalam films centered around them. However, there is one more section hitherto to consider underdogs in the hierarchical structure of society who recently attained celebrity status. The life of a Mahout was not a major attraction for career-conscious Malay. Yalis. But the social media's advent and applications like TikTok have turned a section of Mahouts into celebrities overnight. There are over a dozen Mahouts who enjoy considerable fan following on social media and in public. Sarat Alice Mambis is one of the Mahouts who has around 20,000 fans on social media. The U United States is a hotbed of climate change denial when compared with other countries with international polling finding a significant number of Americans do not believe human-driven climate change is occurring. A total of 13% of Americans polled in a 23-country survey conducted by the EU government Cambridge globalism project agreed with the statement that the climate is changing but human activity is not responsible at all. A further 5% say the climate was not changing. Only Saudi Arabia 16% and Indonesia 18% had a lot higher proportion of people doubtful of man-made climate change. Now let's go through the local daily newspaper headlines. The Sangai Express, as in the past, Imphal-based schools walk away with lion's share in merit least. Girls outdo boys. 
Class 12 results announced pass percentage packed at 73.83. Toppers spell out their dreams for the future. Teams formed to tackle foul army worm. Ban on disposal of West extended. The People's Chronicle. Higher secondary examination 2019 results declared with improved pass record. Manipur's Tampa Chanu tops CISCE in Rajasthan. Singda Dam water level running low. HSC 2019 position holders share views on future plans, state issues. Wants to become scientist, says Librada. Michael Atom aims to become IAS officer. Commerce topper faced financial hardships. Oinam Berlin looks to civil service. Sujata eyes IIT for further study. Court processes to take Nando proclaimed offender. Manipur Mail Stop using calcium carbide or acetylene gas in ripening of fruits. Teams form to fight full army worm. Higher secondary examination results declared 73.83 pass percentage. Negrims Court orders resumption of surgeries. National Register of Citizens NRC can be published before July 31st but not after that, says Supreme Court. Before we wind up today's bulletin, the top stories once again. Strong determination and patience are key to success, says Class 12 Arts position holder L.P. Tracy. Class 12 Commerce Position Holder Nam Sanglen Haukip wants to become a Charter Accountant. <music> Government needs efforts to upgrade Manipur Zoological Garden. Van Service Union goes on hunger strike to protest arbitrary action of Motor Vehicle Department. That's all for the news today. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.